Biometrics is defined as the measurement of unique physical or behavioral characteristics as a means of verifying personal identity. The way I think about biometric is this accurate capture of physiological data. Capturing that data really gives you an objective point of view of their biological abilities throughout the course of time in order so we can get the most out of our athletes and help the athletes get the most out of themselves. For many years, we've been undertaking the science behind personalized nutrition. What we have now reached is really the coming together of that science, but with technology innovation. This is NFL Next. Catapult Technologies was one of the first companies to use scientific data to help train and coach players. They call it scientific performance management. It all starts with our wearable device. It has on it a GPS antenna, an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer. Basically what this device is capturing is all of the movements of your body. So each unit, when it's on a player at practice, will give us information on uh, their velocity traveled. And then more specifically, especially for our running guys, how much distance they traveled running at high speeds. Each day, um, each athlete, they'll have probably between eight to different data points on them. So over the course of uh, a season, we'll end up with you know, enough information. We'll, we'll know more about what an athlete's done than probably the athlete himself. The Jacksonville Jaguars were the first team to adopt and implement this new technology. I think the big thing as an as an ex-player who had to, you know, do everything he could to succeed on the field, you always kind of looked for the the newest, greatest and latest, you know, implement that could help you succeed. And really, you know, catapult has has been, you know, that you watch Alex put the uh, the units in the jerseys. And then we'll go out to practice and we'll live monitor at practice so we can kind of have a general idea of you know, what our guys are doing out of practice. Then we'll just bring them back in, we'll upload them into Catapult software and you know, we'll create our, our spreadsheets based off of that. Most of the time at practice, I'm working with injured players, so really not seeing practice, I'm able to give a, an objective you know, point of view from just looking at the, the data from the Catapult. Let's again use our offensive linemen versus our wide receivers. When you look at a wide receiver, you'll see that the wide receiver in viewing his GPS will do a lot of practice. Conversely, when you have a GPS on an offensive lineman, you'll see that they don't do a lot of practice or appears that they don't. But if you have a heart rate monitor on, you'll see that they have a lot of internal heart rate stress. It's very important that you know those differences so when you train to prepare your athletes, you actually train them accordingly to the demands that's going to be asked of them you know, in practice and in the games. MC10 is another tech company that's trying to collect some of this behavioral data with an even more unique device to track biometrics for both athletic and healthcare applications. My time playing uh, gave me huge insight. I remember being so frustrated at either it was an injury or surgery. Like, yeah, I guess you're kind of okay to come back from injury. I'll get back out there. I always kind of wanted a way to be able to quantify that. So MC10 has developed the BioStamp. It's a thin electronic patch that really is location agnostic. I've got three BioStamps on me right now. We have the ability to sync multiple sensors. It really allows you to move and put the BioStamp, this thin electronic patch, embedded with a suite of sensors around the body to gather data in a very accurate way. Uh, this is my ECG coming from my chest right now. Heart rate, which you know, then leads to heart rate variability, other, other aspects. Now the other aspect of this, you still see the, the surface EMG, which is muscle activities, but I'm gonna flex my chest. Uh, and you start to see how, you know, highly, highly uh, accurate data being able to do that. Think about it as the ultimate research tool that then flows into tons and tons of different use cases. Hold that here. That can move. <laughs> Pretty cool how you start to be, be able to throw, but that accurate capture of the data on the front end is really what, what this is solving. The fact is, this isn't like the stock market. Oh, we don't know where it's gonna go tomorrow. Like, your body's actually pretty repeatable on if you treat it well. You actually have a snippet of time that you prepare. You're like, if I repeat this, uh, there's a pretty good chance uh, uh, you, you raise this level of probability of success of feeling good. You feel good on game day, most likely you're gonna play good. The IMG Academy trains some of the top amateur athletes, as well as professionals, and they've teamed with Gatorade to create the Gatorade Sports Science Institute 
to study hydration and performance. We have several goals with the lab here at the IMG Academy. We've tested hundreds of athletes gaining powerful insights that we can feed back into the brand Gatorade to help them innovate. But it's also to hone our athlete service model. What we had today was a series of tests in the lab here. Now this is one of our components of athlete service and it's a battery of tests to understand the athlete's physical strength, their nutrition habits, uh, but also their areas uh, of opportunity, how they can get better. Three, two, one. On the treadmill test, and we call that test a fat max test, we are collecting a number of pieces of physical data and it allows us to measure the amount of oxygen the athlete is using, but also the amount of carbon dioxide they're producing. That then translates that data into the use of carbohydrate and fat. All right, it's been a nice job. How are you feeling? I feel exactly how you right now. Good job. <laughs> Great job. We have several techniques to measure body composition. Today we've used the Bod Pod. You're going to get down to just your compression shorts, uh, and then we're going to be two 45 second measurements sat in the Bod Pod, and it'll determine how much lean mass you have uh, and then how much body fat you have. Okay? When GSSI works with athletes in the field, we try not to disrupt their practice or their routine. Light but fast feed here, guys. Let's turn them on. Let's go. What we try and do is capture the athlete's physiological metabolic response to that particular session. And in this test, we are interested in the amount of fluid the athlete is losing. And then we take that data and we translate it into personalized fueling recommendations for the athlete in the form of these pods. And also the actual technology behind delivery of that product. So with the new bottles, with the pod loading system, which allows the athlete to personalize much more simpler than before. Sport has very much become a science, the science of winning. And we continue to search for new technologies to optimize our chances. But what they're missing is real data, not just where is an athlete, but how is his shoulders turning, what happened in all the different movements of his body. So those things are all possible in the future. The players are going to buy into wearable tech and tech in general when they understand it's going to help them play better, play longer, make more money. So that's very much the business we're in, trying to build up that, that picture of an athlete's physiology, strength, areas of opportunity, and, and, and how they can exploit it. Biometrics uh, and, and human performance very much go hand in hand.